General Stanley McChrystal there speaking to the least to, to the BBC's least to said rather. Now, when it comes to facing down the Taliban, perhaps no one has been as lucky as a 28-year-old flight lieutenant from Britain. He's appropriately named Ian Fortune. He survived being shot between the eyes while piloting his Chinook helicopter into an Afghan battlefield this January. The BBC's Frank Gardner has his amazing story. Not a routine mission. This was the moment a pilot brought his Chinook helicopter into Camp Bastion, minutes after being shot in the head. Incredibly, the bullet went through his helmet and he survived, landed the casualties they were carrying and walked off to get first aid. Right, roll call, uh, myself and Doug Beats. And now back in Britain, Flight Lieutenant Ian Fortune has become something of an RAF legend. From his base in Hampshire, he took me up for a flight to recreate the moment he survived his brush with death. Ian's helmet has only just been released from a forensic lab. Not surprisingly, he's become rather attached to it. That's the night vision goggle rail that we hooked the goggles onto at night. That had enough weight behind it to glance it away from my head. You were incredibly lucky. Yes. Very lucky indeed. And uh, I should have bought more lottery tickets perhaps, but uh, one was enough. <laughs> Ian puts his survival down to luck training and the skill of his crew that day. His boss, though, has other ideas. Having been in the Air Force for nearly, nearly 19 years, and this is probably one of the most outstanding um, acts of, of, of bravery and valour that I've seen in an aircraft anyway, that's for sure, uh, in a helicopter out, outside of, of, of the Special Forces world. Ian Fortune has now been recommended for a gallantry award. His helmet is going on display in the mess. Frank Gardner, BBC News, at RAF Odium. Amazing story.